Hi guys, Rachel with Spunky Mystic Girl here, and I am headed out for Belgium next week, for a week, um, and I wanted to bring, the last couple of times I've traveled, I've brought no physical paper <laughs> to write on, and I like to have some place just to jot notes here and there, and so I wanted to make something small, that would be kind of convenient, that would fit in my purse, that I could stow little things in, and that I could just make notes. So I made this little um, notebook, very simple, small, tiny, should fit in my purse. Uh, this is out of the, I use the Boho Blues kit from Emma Parrish, love that kit, super beautiful. Um, and I used a manila folder for the cover and some envelopes on the inside, which you can see I very smartly sewed in upside down. <laughs> no, I didn't intend to do that. I kind of think they might work anyway, though, because they're so skinny. They're probably still going to hold stuff. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I thought I would make another one of these. It was fun and pretty simple, fairly easy to do. Uh, I have a billion file folders because I bought them for some other project that I was doing. So it makes it really easy to use them as covers. Um, I just cut it down to whatever size I wanted, about approximately where I was wanting it to be in terms of size. And with this one, I didn't do a spine. I just used the natural fold of the manila folder, but that makes it kind of, you know, gator mouthy, even though there's a, a closure on there. So I thought this time I would try, what I did was I used this last fold as one of the folds, and then I made a new score next to it, and I trimmed the sides so that you have a little, spine in the middle there um, that will hopefully help keep it from being so gappy. So the first thing I'm gonna do, so I've got a bunch of papers here ready to go, to go on the inside and then to also to cover. Um, I'm gonna just do it, you know, very similarly like this. I left my blank, my black ink across the room, so maybe I'll just use my brown on some of these pieces. Um, I've got this beautiful, I really, really love this. This is one of the new Gothic Roses backgrounds that's in my shop, and I'm gonna use that to cover the front of my manila folder first and foremost to create my covers and I am just going to glue with these because I last time tried to use tape and ended up messing it up <laughs> so I am going to just make sure I get my edges with my glue um, and I have something nearby to wipe because that is going to seep out of there but it's okay it'll work and then just make sure that I get a good helping of glue over every part of this so that there's not going to be any piece that isn't stuck down and I'm going to try to use it to the corner but um I'll leave a little bit off the edge so that I know that I I'm going to cover that up all the way to the edge. I'm just going to use my bone folder a little to make sure that I'm getting that adhered. It's like I have some stickies on my bone folder. All right, so my edges haven't gotten that straight. That's okay. Then I'm just gonna trim. I'm gonna trim these sides with my guillotine. 
And these other sides that need a little bit more care, I'm gonna do with my scissors. These would also make super great, nice gifts for people. You could make something personalized fairly quickly. I'm not perfect on my edge there, but that's okay. Perfection has no place in the studio. Now, the question is, I think I was planning this one for the inside. So, bit blue. I also have this one, which I actually, I think I'm gonna use this one. I think I was planning it for something else, but that's okay. But first what I'm gonna do actually is make my folds again so that I don't lose those. So be clear about where they are. And I think I will actually, I rounded my corners on my other one too. I'm gonna do that now because it can be a little fussy if I'm trying to go through three layers of paper. So I'll just do it again when I get this interior paper on here. So we're gonna glue that up again for our inside. I am really both looking forward to and a little nervous about traveling next week. It's the first time I'll have been to Europe since 2020 when I had to come home from Portugal unexpectedly. So I'm gonna put this guy on here, just like that. I've actually also never flown into Brussels before. I, the last time I went to Belgium, I have actually flew to Amsterdam and then took the train all around. Oh yeah. <laughs> totally not straight, but that's fine. I'm just gonna cut it off. nice with small sizes like these because you can just use a paper, piece of paper and do it like this. It's a little tricky on these smaller ones so and I think I'm going to use my scissors on those. And then I want to ink this up a little too. The only thing about traveling though, is that I do end up feeling like I need to film maniacally in order to have enough videos consistently going up to keep my schedule, which can be tricky. And I have done enough. This video will actually go up after my Belgium trip. But I have another one coming up shortly after that, that I'm also, that's longer, that I'm also trying to film through. So I'm just now also rounding my corners for those interior papers. And there we are. Let's also do our folds again. It gets a little bit iffy on that, it doesn't want to move. Another nice way that you could do this is do a spine, a separate spine to cover it. It would help keep it from getting this little extra bit there, but um, A, you can cut that off, B, you can ink it up, 
I think I'm gonna give it a little bit to dry here and put together my um, my pages, my interior pages. So I use these envelopes in here in two ways. So, so I have a bunch of these, they're too big, they're bigger than what I expected. I was looking for something smaller and they're a little awkward. So I'm kind of using them in different ways, trying to figure out how to use them up and do stuff with them, even though I didn't plan to have them. So I've been cutting them off, um, you know, so that they fit inside of the book. And actually, I think I'm just gonna do that with them together. And then what you can do is use that bottom part upright as a pocket. And I think I, I actually have to cut it down for that too. They're a bit tall as well. So I might want to cut it down the other way too, but we'll see. Maybe I'll, maybe for this one, I'll leave them thick. All right, so our pages, let's see. I've got this little guy who I think might fit. Yeah, look at that, he fits pretty well. I'm gonna round his corners, see how that looks. <sighs> That's perfect. I feel like I should just fill it up with papers that size. I'm not like cutting. Maybe I'm gonna do that, just a few more of these. What I did for the other one is I had some thicker papers that I used that I cut up. But I kind of like the idea of filling it up with a bunch of different of these papers here at this size. Try not to repeat that same one, but these look pretty close. This one. How many is that? Is that enough? <laughs> it sounds exciting, but the envelopes will give it a little bit of, um, of traction, and then you have the pockets in the front and back as well. I think that might be nice. I feel a little bit lazy today, in case you couldn't tell. Things have been a little slow in the shop and it's been a little hard to keep up the spirit. I know that this is something that I'm in for the long haul and want to be in for the long haul. I would love to do a course. I would love to teach more. I would love to potentially get my stuff into shops. Um, but I'm kind of at a stage where like, I'm not sure what's most important for me to be doing in order to see that happen, if you know what I mean. So let's manage to get all of those corners into the trash. If you guys round your corners, you know what I'm talking about when I say those things get everywhere. Absolutely 100% everywhere. All right, so I'm gonna put these together. I'm gonna stick my envelopes in there to get sewn in as well. Kind of doing some different things as we go here. 
And this one might be a little bit smaller than the other one too, which I kind of like the idea of. And this is really, like you can take this space principle if you're pretty new around here you can use a lot of what I'm doing here on, on larger journals on a larger size. Okay, so that's my signature. Let's to go, my friends. And I'm gonna... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're a little long, especially in the middle. So I'm gonna take probably these two first and see how it goes, trim down a little bit re-cut my corners because I don't want them sticking out like that. Hopefully that should be enough. And do all our corners on it once. All right, in you go. Make sure that Everything's still going okay with you guys over there. I'm on frame. All right. Yeah, that's good. I can live with that. It's right up to the edge. So I could cut it down a little more, but I'm, I think I'm gonna live with it. And I'm gonna ink up my outsides now before I so, just because it'll be a little easier to have those pages in there. I could, I could still do it after the pages are in, but it would just be a little fussy. We'll just get this done. Real quick, I really do have quite a bit of that manila edge showing. So what I may do is use a little of my black ink too on top of this brown when I'm done with the video just to give it more, to hide that a little bit because my covers moved once I folded it after I put the insides in. The inside cover paper, I guess you would say. This paper too on the inside that I used to cover the inside is also in a product in my shop. It is the, I made a whole bunch of backgrounds because I wanted more for like slightly gothy feeling stuff that was still vintagey. Um, that was just, you know, pretty patterned stuff. Um, so these are in, I think I called it raw iron, gothic backgrounds raw iron. So those are in my shop too, uh, with a bunch of other really beautiful ones. Oh. And I think it's a small, I think it's a small product. I think it's only like five pages, but um, I'm going to do more of that type too with some um, lighter stuff that's you could write on. So I'm going to just clip these in place where I want them in here. I'm going to poke my holes with my awl, one in about the middle. And then two more on either side. I got a journal recently from someone who kind of did them all in the middle-ish. She didn't go quite so far to the edges. And I kind of liked the way that that looked. So I'm gonna try it here. Normally I go farther, higher up. And I'm just gonna come back through this way too, just to make sure that sewing is easy on me. I'm gonna grab a needle, bookbinding needles. 
Yay for those. And then my beeswax coated thread three times. And thread that up and we're gonna do a pamphlet stitch going outside from the inside in the middle and then back in through the top all the way down to the bottom and back out through the bottom and then back in oops I think I just poked a new hole <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna have a little bit of a goopy hole there, but that's okay. And then I'm putting these on either side of that middle string and tying my knot around it with them on either side. And I'm gonna trim this down to the size of the book. And that is pretty simple. You know what I forgot to do though? I forgot to, um, I forgot to glue my pockets, <laughs> which is gonna make things a little tricky. Okay, but it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna just put a little bit of glue on this edge. Actually, you know what? You might not need to do that because what I could do is cover these. I don't know if I did that in the other, I don't think I did do it in the other one. But what you could also do is cover these up with a piece of paper that's big enough to kind of then turn that into a pocket, but um, okay to glue it too. That worked just fine. Where's the other one? Let's find him. Um, with the other one, I actually turned them into pockets that went this way by opening up one side and then re-gluing before I sewed them in, which is also an option. I also... Um, I also punched notches into them. So you see they go this way. They were originally supposed to go right side up, but that's okay. All right, we'll let those dry for a bit before we fuss with them anymore. Now, what we're gonna wanna do is before I forget, I'm gonna put a closure on. So I think I'll keep it simple and use some of this stuff. So we've got kind of gothy. And I like to make them long so that once it's full, there's still gonna be plenty of room here to close this with this guy. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come across the middle here and I'm gonna run a piece of glue, a piece of glue. That's a new one. A piece of glue. That's right. I'm gonna arrange this where I want it and then just glue this down on top. And that is gonna get covered up. So it's okay if it's a little messy. Most of it's gonna get covered up. Probably this edge here is still glueier than I would like it to be, but it's okay. And I'm gonna glue on the other side too. Same way, although this time I'm gonna be better. And I'm just gonna do it in the middle because it's gonna get stuff over the top of it to cover this. Yeah, my closure's on. All right, so now we've got to think about our cover. 
And I have plans. I have a couple of images from my um I actually don't know if these are in the Gothic ephemera kit, but there's a lot of similar stuff that you can find if you're looking for something like this. And I'm actually just gonna ink these edges with some brown so that white's not so glaring. I always like to have a layer behind these. I just think it classes it up so much on these covers like this to do layers and layers and layers and layers. So I always have some kind of layer you can see on here. I have a contrasting layer in between. And so I was thinking with this one about using this green, which I am liking. I don't want it to be quite that big, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna glue this one down and I'm gonna use this one on the back. So I'm gonna glue both of these down and then just cut where I want it and make it the size I want it. Easy peasy. So I'm just gonna give this like that about even on both of those sides. And I think I'm going to do this one on the other side. Oh, I can't even glue straight, you guys. Okay, that in the corner, just like that, on the same level. Oh, I, I really got glue on that. It's hard with black, let me tell you. If you are have a little bit of darker inclined tastes, trying to junk journal with black is not easy. I'm just gonna aim to cut that at about the same size all the way around. What do you think? I think I got it. Looking good. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Now, a lot of times I like to put just like one little word or something like that. I think with these, I'm just gonna leave them simple. I actually think I'm gonna use some tape. Got my chanky tapey scissors, and I'm gonna tape these up so their edges aren't gluey. Um, and then I usually put glue in the middle. And that is almost it, really. Very close. Okay, put our front and back pockets in, if you want, if you're doing that. You can also cover up your envelopes that are in there if you would rather have some pretty images on those. You could also just leave them the way they are just because you like them or use them for writing. They're perfectly possible to write on them. I'm gonna put her, ooh, you know what? You know what I didn't do? This is why you ink before you film. Although, I didn't wanna, I wanted to 
show you guys the process of um, putting that background on and I wanted to do it like that because it was easier. So this is the art of inking. Well, there's already glue on your thing, right? And it can be done. Absolutely can be done. There she goes. No glue on her forehead. Yeah. Now the other one, I'm gonna ink before I glue. <laughs> it's already taped, that's okay. Normally I use black soot on these. And actually I thought I had <laughs> I thought I had left it across the room, you guys. But it's right here on the table in front of me. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but I just thought. Oh well. Flowers on the back. Perfect. And this is really a perfect size. These, um, these cards. I'm actually not sure if I just guessed if I printed them at a little smaller size and guessed or what. Okay, since we do have our black set, let's see if we can dirty up those edges. Hide that manila folder a little more. Let's see what happens if I can get that to a place I'm happy with. That's, that's off. I think I might just do the outside edges with that. Now, you could make little versions of this to put into your junk journal too, into a larger journal, and they'd be fun. Um, but they're also fun just on their own. Very nice gift, you know, and doesn't take super long. Like, you could be even quicker about it if you didn't want to do pockets. If you want to just keep your insides simple. Okay, so now I have my, these pockets. I think I am going to cut them off by quite a bit here. Make them about yay big. Like that. And put them on the front and back covers on the inside. And you could also make the spot behind them a tuck spot, but... I, I'm okay with this being simple, so I'm just gonna, oh, you know what else I have to do since I cut them off, which I forgot about. Let's glue the edge, glue the other edge. <laughs> I'm moving kind of fast here, guys. It's messing me up. Need to breathe and slow down a little. Say wee. Like Julie over at Camellia's Crafts. Oh, wee. I've started using a conditioner bar on my hair that's made of Manuka honey that I really love because, well, firstly, it's making my hair look nicer. But also, I have to rub it on my hair in the shower and it kind of forces me to slow down and be a little more sensual and pay a little more attention. Just kind of go with it a little more. And that has been good. That's what junk journaling is supposed to be for too. 
but because I would like it to be something that I can do full time, <laughs> sometimes I get a little intense about it. All right, I'm gonna leave those alone for now so I don't mess them up. So on this one, all I did was take some more of that paper that I had and some words and things and collage over the tops of those to make them look nice. Pretty simple. Um, and I think I'll do some of that on these two, but I'm gonna do it off video because I suck at collaging on video. <laughs> and that way you can get on with your project with whatever you wanna do with it. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.